Hello, Namaste, and welcome in the series of cyber security. This side is Mina, and today I will discuss about how does an HTTP flood attack work. Nowadays, attackers are always in hunt to uh, damage the resources available on a web server. Okay, they are always in just finding out the companies which they can damage their web servers so that uh, they can uh, disrupt their operations there and http flood attack one of them today i will use one of the tool hulk and with the help of that hulk tool i will show you how that attackers will uh, perform an http flood attack on a web server okay so here is a diagram just you can see here there is there are so many ports okay which uh, on which the hackers uh, send some malicious software and now these devices which are located on different different locations uh, are in under the control of the hacker okay so they are having the bot uh, network or say botnet which is which can have hundreds thousand or the millions of the uh, computers in their control okay so uh, the http flood attack actually uh, main motive is just behind this attack to uh, consume or just say overload the resources available on a web server okay so just take, take an example of uh, any web server e-commerce website say say amazon.com in every every day millions of dollars uh, transactions happen on uh, uh, such kind of uh, websites people are just making transactions sales purchase a uh, lot of things uh, are happening on uh, uh, one of the website okay and if the resources available on a web server or of that particular website if they just send too many requests on that web server the web server will busy to uh, just entertain those uh, uh, those uh, uh, useless requests okay and when the legitimate user will send a request then all the resources was used by the uh, request that's sent by the attackers just as you can see in in this diagram so uh, this can be done via http get attack or http post attack in get attack whatever the information available whether that's in the form of uh, image okay audio video text okay when we send an request to the server and we will we'll get the reply so this is what get request okay and in the post request in the post request for example say a form and we fill some details in it and we send to the server and server will process it and will store in their database clear so if that kind of attack will happen this is http post attack clear so attackers will send huge amount of request on the web server and web server will busy to entertain those requests and when the legitimate user for example this is a legitimate user when this legitimate will send uh, user will send request to the http server no resources are available at that time okay so without the one of the tool i will use and i'll show you how this attack happened so here you can see uh, there is a tool that's a hulk a http unbearable load game so it generate uh, kind of dose attack but it's it is different from uh, the genuine dose attack uh, the main difference is that uh, dose attack uh, as uh, that will follow a certain pattern and which is uh, um, detectable to the devices and they can mitigate from the dose attack but with the help of uh, this hulk tool it will generate the unique request every time okay and you can see here there are the list of uh, the user agents which will send the request to the uh, web server okay so here it will just generate uh, the list of uh, those user agent 
here and after generating that uh, list it will uh, create some attack so i have captured the uh, information for example i have set up a web server and i am just using this hulk tool and sending the request with the help of hulk uh, uh, to that web server and i am just capturing the traffic with the wireshark hulk so you can see here uh, from the packet number 44 to 51 they are genuine three way handshake happen okay from this source 10.128.0.2 it's just send a request to the destination which is 10.0.0.2 okay so first packet is just sync packet and when uh, the server will receive that request it will send a reply to the server uh, to the client and it is sync and acknowledgement okay. and uh, again the uh, client will send the acknowledgement against whatever the acknowledgement uh, whatever the sync number sent by the server clear so this is the three way handshake happen. and after the when this connection will happen then the client will send the get request okay with a random uh, input post input okay and when we will see in the detail of this uh, uh, packet number 51 you can see here so this is the http uh, get request and here are uh, the flag uh, finish and the acknowledgement okay so this is just uh, captured through the wireshark that's just to go in more detail you can see here another request also sent by the another uh, user okay so here uh, you can see this this uh, pair and the this pair and you can see here just in the second of 8.818 second 858 packet sent okay and 97 packet sent per second and this is just on the only the test and en environment in the lab environment and 0 0.4 mb of the data sent through this uh, uh, attack within the second when the actual attack will happen hacker will generate huge amount of traffic and they will the send on the bombardment we can say on the particular server and the server will busy to just uh, process those requests which are sent by the uh, client different different client okay and even you can see here this i have collected the data uh, from 2016 to 2020 okay 75 0.6 percent of the companies at least once once they just faced some kind of a cyber attack okay and in uh, in 2020 it just 80.7 percent means the companies from different different sectors none of them are secure use uh, kind of uh, cyber attacks are available attackers are using different different tools and performing attacks on different different companies so every companies are uh, we can say is uh, facing such kind of attack clear and there is uh, the opportunities for uh, the cyber security professionals because nowadays uh, at uh, cyber criminal industry is growing uh, with the rapid pace and with the rapid pace they are also generating uh, the different different sophisticated tools which they are using to perform an attack okay so companies uh, need the expert or we can say well skilled manpower which are they, they are not finding proper manpower to uh, secure their organization and there is a huge gap between the whatever the requirement they have and they are not finding uh, the right kind of uh, skilled power okay and just you can be one of them okay and 
follow me on the cyber security prism and get the notification for the next interesting and informative session and also share that session with your friends and the group members so that they will be able to understand what is the kind of that http flood attack okay and in the next session i will discuss about powerful penetration testing tool namaste see you in the next session